Hey guys, welcome to Mangaka Art Style Analysis, where we look at the career of a mangaka from beginning to end. Today we're going to be looking at Togashi, who did Hunter x Hunter and Yu Yu Hakusho. He's a living legend in the shonen space, let's take a look at his career. So Togashi's first work was Butobi Straight, and it was a work that he submitted to Shonen Jump Tezuka when he was 20 years old, and he was actually studying to be a teacher at this time, so this was an unexpected success. And you can clearly see how his art style uh, translates to Yu Yu Hakusho later. In 1988, he went on to publish a honorable mention one-shot called Juda no Mizuki. His style is a lot more versatile in this one. This is two years later after the first one-shot. A little sexual, too. And he was like, fuck it, man. I'm not going to be a teacher anymore. I'm moving to Tokyo, and I'm following my dreams to be a manga ka. Okay, so when did he finally get to do Yu Yu Hakusho? Well, first he tried his hand at some uh, gag manga. <laughs> It was called I'm Not Afraid of the Wolf, and it was published at the same time in Shueisha as JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which was just starting to serialize like a couple years earlier. And then, you know, Togashi continued with the gag manga slash romance trend, and he was like, you know, let's do one called An Ill-Tempered Cupid in Heaven. The way he's drawing girls reminds me a lot of Ranma 1 slash 2, now that I'm seeing it again. And then, boom, finally, 1990, he finally lands Yu Yu Hakusho, which goes on to jumpstart his career and become one of the greatest in shonen history. Yu Yu Hakusho was serialized for roughly four years, has an anime, sold over 50 million copies worldwide. So yeah, pretty popular stuff. But he's not done yet. He published Level E one year later in 1995. Now that has an anime, I think that came out in like 2011. That ended in 1997, which was when I was born and also when he met his wife. The talented man marries a very talented woman. He marries the mangaka of Sailor Moon. Well, they didn't get married in 1997, but that's when they met. And the reason that matters is because in 1998, one year after he meets her, he starts to serialize Hunter x Hunter. That's right, his next big series, Hunter x Hunter, where his art style is finally just like kind of hitting its freaking peak here. And the mangaka of Sailor Moon was at this time helping him with screen tones as an assistant. This was probably before she ended up becoming a famous mangaka herself. And yeah, they got married in 1999. Hunter Hunters unfinished um, because Togashi has been on the grind for fucking millennia. They have two kids and they even worked on a children's book together. That's very cute. I love talented people. <laughs> anyway, that's the career of Togashi. Leave a like, share with your friends and let me know what mangaka I'm doing next.